okay so what we are going to see now interceptor and spring boot application so interceptor means uh, whenever we are the sorry whenever the request is coming or whenever we are sending the response we can intercept the uh, request as well as response and if you want to stop the request that is also possible that we can able to do it here let's see how to do it okay so in order to intercept this request uh, in spring boot there's a two type of variations here i'm using a uh, interfaces which is a modern way of implementing the interceptor as you can see here i'm using a handle interceptor and I am creating a class with annotation of component and I am mentioning the handle interceptor. Okay, the same way, here in this interceptor we have the three methods. One is pre-handle and uh, next one is uh, post-handle and next one is after completion. Okay, so all these methods are optional. If you want to implement other, you can implement others, we can ignore it. Okay, this is the first uh, way of implementing. Next one is about we need the WebMVC configured because this interceptor we need to add it to our Spring Boot application, right? Because just by creating the interceptor, it, it will not work. We need to add this interceptor to our WebMVC configurer, which is also an interface. I'm implementing this one. Okay, now it, it has the method called add interceptor. In this inter interceptor, I will first auto wire the intercept whatever we are having here. Okay, so this interceptor I am just mentioning here, and we need to you know how to auto wire it. The same way we can auto wire this one, and here what we can do. We have to use this uh, registry which will add this our add interceptor. Okay, so here we need to mention the this one. That's it. So, yeah, one second, semicolon. Okay, so here we are having a three different methods, right? So, as you can see here, the pre handle method which will call before our controller will get uh, processed, post handle means before sending the response. After completion means once it sends a response to the UI, this one. Okay. So here I will add this sysout for your understanding. So we can say one second. Sysout. 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 Okay. So I am adding a pre-handle, uh, post-handle, which means before sending the response. This is after sending the response. Okay. So now we will start the application and see how it works. Okay. Now our application is running here. And I will give the request from my uh, from our browser to this application. Okay, so the endpoint is get app name. Okay, so localhost eighty eighty get app name. If I send the request, as you can see here, you can see clearly this pre handle, post handle, after completion. Okay, which means this three response is getting generated from our interceptor, which we added in the console. This for our understanding, I'm just adding a pre handle, the first method which will call before the request goes to the controller. This is before we are sending the response to the um, uh, this one. Uh, UI and this is the after sending the response to the UI. Okay, so this is how we can simply you know uh, add our uh, Interceptor to our application. We will do one scenario. I as I mentioned already that pre-handle whatever the boolean I am returning from this method if I manually change it to false This will not go to the controller Okay, so maybe here I will go to the controller right whatever the controller we are accessing this controller right so in this controller also I will add a simple sysout for your understanding like uh, sysout inside get app name okay this is the controller now let me restart the application let's see how it works so what I am trying to tell is whenever the request comes to this place if I pass this written false explicitly it will not go to the controller it will stop here if I mention true then only it goes to the controller uh, if it is false it will not go to the controller it will stop here itself okay let's see how it works now as you can see here, I am manually changing in this false as false. And if I give this request, as you can see here, it goes to the pre-handle, but it will not go to the controller. The request will be stopped here itself. Okay. So in that the logic which I have written here is explicitly mentioned a fa false with this without any logic. But if you want to implement a logic, that can be possible that we can create our own um, logic also. And if I mention this as true, and let me restart the application, like uh, let's see how it works. So as I mentioned as a true, now the request comes to this place and it goes to the controller without any issues because the interceptor is uh, returning true here. Okay. So now uh, let me clear the control and uh, give the request. Okay. As you can see here, pre-handle, then it goes to the controller, post-handle after completion. That's it. Okay. So this is called handle interceptor, interceptor which will help us helps us to do. Um, you know, handling the intercept, like intercept the request. And if you want to add any security to your controller, like accessing the header, you, as you can see here in this method, we can access the header, we can access the request, all these things we can able to manipulate the uh, request in the pre-handle. The same way we can do it in post-handle. Mainly it's used for to log your statements and uh, whatever that uh, you want to do with this scenario that we can do it here. Okay. Thank you.